One of the most commonly asked questions that I get is what is the best cheaper loading kit that I can get started with? This is really a harder question than most people think because in life, best and cheap don't go together very well. So today we're gonna go through all the contents of the best cheaper loading kit, identify where you're sacrificing quality, and offer some possible alternatives so you can have the best possible reloading kit on the cheap. Stick around to the end of the video though because I'm gonna cover some items that don't come in the kit that you're going to need as well. The prices we talk about in today's video are reflective of the time when I'm recording it. As with anything else, prices fluctuate. There may not be as many options right now because demand is through the roof. I think overall the details are still going to age well, but don't be afraid to price check around and see what you can get the best value for today. If you want the cheapest press available, you're going to be looking at something like the Lee Hand Press or something like the Lee Loader. The Lee Loader is only good for one caliber, but for this video, we're going to be assuming you want to be able to full length resize and all the functions that a reloader might need and not be limited to a single cartridge. So the Lee Challenger kit that we're talking about today might not be the cheapest press, but they are the cheapest kit that is bench mounted. So this is where we're starting from today. The kit comes in two separate flavors, the 50th anniversary kit and the breech lock challenger kit. Both of these kits will work with both pistol and rifle cartridges. The difference between these two is the way that they prime. The anniversary kit is those who prefer to prime on the press. That is not me. And the breech lock challenger kit for those who prefer to be able to prime off the press using an auto hand primer. This video we're going to be concentrating specifically on the breech lock challenger kit simply because I prefer to prime off of the press. But the price on these kits is literally the same at the time of recording, so it doesn't really change the math at all. The kit contains the Lee Breech Lock Challenger single stage press itself, one quick change die bushing, the Lee Auto Prime XR, the Lee Auto Prime shell holder set of eight shell holders, which can only be used for priming, the Value Quick Trim Case Trimmer, the Lee Cutter and Lock Stud, Lee Perfect Powder Measure, Lee Chamfer Tool, it also deburs, the Lee Primer Pocket Cleaner, the Lee Safety Powder Scale, the Lee Powder Funnel, and two ounces of Lee Resizing Case Lube. Let's walk through each of these parts very quickly and talk about some possible alternatives where you may want to think about replacing it. The press by itself runs around $99 purchased separately, has a stroke of three and a half inches, and can be used from anything from 25 ACP to 46 Weatherby. The press shape is a circle, so it's referred to as an O-Press, similar to this Hornady press. Overall, at the price point, this is a very well-respected press and is very capable. It may not be the best press available, but it is certainly a good value. Overall, I think the press is fine. And next, we're going to talk about the Lee Auto Prime XR and the shell holder set at the same time. Purchasing these separately are going to run $30 and $23 respectively, so a total of $53. The reviews are pretty mixed. I am sure that it can be used to prime cases, as long as one of the eight shell holders that it comes with is the ones that you need. If you weren't buying it as part of the kit, I would recommend something like the Frankfurt Arsenal Priming Tool, which is going for $73 right now. It comes with several additional shell holders, or something more like the RCBS Universal Priming Tool, where shell holders aren't a concern at all because it is a universal tool, and it currently runs around $74. Either of these tools, for various reasons, is a huge upgrade over the Lee, and in the long run, will be a much better experience. If you're going to be using the reloading kit, trust me, you'll be priming some cases. One thing that I will certainly praise Lee for is including anything at all in the reloading kit that addresses trimming cases. Most don't. And in this kit, they're offering two options, the Value Quick Trim Case Trimmer, as well as the Lee Cutter and Lock Stud. The Lee Value Quick Trim Case Trimmer requires you to buy separate dies that run at somewhere in the ballpark right now of between $12 and $19. This is a manual tool and not really what I would personally recommend. The Lee Cutter and Lock Stud, however, is another matter. Assuming you already own a power drill, you can chuck the adapter into your drill, chuck up a piece of brass. You will still need to pick up a case length gauge, which are caliber specific for around six to $11, depending on the caliber. But for not a lot of money, you essentially have a power case trimmer that doesn't cost very much to add a new caliber. Whether you get the kit or not, I would recommend picking up the ball cutter option if you're going to trim very many cases because it's so much easier on your hand and the total cost of this is only $8. It's a huge upgrade that just works well and at this price point, I'm aware of nothing else that works better. The next item included is a Lee Perfect Powder Measure. Retail on this guy seems to be between $27 and $31 at the moment. And for this cost, I think it does the job that it needs to. Depending on your specific process, if you're using it to throw charges within a reasonably consistent range, or if you're just getting close and trickling up to that desired charge weight, for the cost, I'm just not sure it can be beat. Are there higher quality tools out there? Certainly. For this price point, probably not. 
If you end up putting your own kit together and not buying this kit, or for some reason you didn't want to clean out your perfect powder measure, Lee also sells an entire scoop kit for $13. And this is a great option that comes with a ton of different scoops to get you close to your charge weight, and then you can just trickle it up. Either way, they're both great options and they both come from Lee. Next, let's cover the Lee Chamfer Tool and the Lee Primer Pocket Cleaners. These come at a combined cost of around $9, very inexpensive. However, they're going to leave much to be desired compared to what else is available currently on the market. Whether you choose this kit or build your own, I would completely recommend the Lyman Case Prep Tool. It has a much higher quality chamfer and deburring tool. It's not even close. It includes changeable tips that have all the primer pocket scraping tools that come with the Lee kit. And even though they're not great, they actually come with both large and small military crimp removers that can be used in a pinch. You don't want to do a lot of cases with them, but if you only had a few cases you wanted to remove the military crimp, it is possible to use it. The retail on this right now is around $29. It's a great tool and it's been on my reloading bench for a very long time and it's not going anywhere. The next thing we're going to be looking at is a Lee safety powder scale. It retails for around $43 and in my opinion is one of the biggest weaknesses of this kit. If you want a beam scale, there are more usable options than this. And I'm sure I will offend someone with their love of beam scales, but I would recommend a reasonable quality digital scale. Recently, I've looked at the Hornady G3, and I have to say, if you can get this for around $50, I'm not sure you'll be able to find a better option. I'm not going to go into all the details of this scale. I have a complete video on it. This is one of the best digital scales in this price point that I have seen to date. A lot of the digital scales that come in other reloading kits just don't work as well as this one. Horny finally went to a slightly higher price point scale, but add a lot of quality when they did. Whether you get the kit or not, think about getting an aftermarket digital scale. The next item is the powder funnel. It's $5. It works from 22 to 45 caliber. What can I say? It's a funnel. For $5, you're probably not going to beat it. For years, I've used Hornady's powder funnel. It works just fine and is relatively universal. I've never used Lee's case lube. I'm sure that it works. And if you want to use it, go for it. Mostly I use Imperial Sizing Wax and get great results. It can be found for around $10, and for that $10, it lasts a very long time. You do have to apply it individually though. If speeding up your case loop is of interest, you might want to look at Hornley One Shot, or there are plenty of recipes for lanolin and alcohol-based formulas. So real quick, let's talk about the value of the kit. Right now, the Lee Kit at Midway was $199, and purchasing all these products separately would run you around $268. So there is value there. However, swapping out some items I think is a consideration you should make. Like I said earlier, I don't think there's anything wrong with the press that comes in this kit. However, if getting the best quality experience at the lowest cost is exactly what you're looking for, another option you might want to consider for the press is the Lee C-Frame Press. It's certainly a step down from the Breech Lock Challenger Press itself, but the Lee C-Frame Press retails right now for around $55, though historically I've seen it much, much cheaper, and it's still a usable press. If you're looking at getting into reloading and you just want to get started, but you want a great experience, I don't think you're going to be sacrificing much by going to the C-Frame press. If you're willing to make that sacrifice, I would pick up your hand primer and pick up one of the ones that's around $74. Still use the Lee Cutter and Lock Stud because again, they're a great value and they work well. Especially if you already own a power drill, getting the ball cutter option is something I would recommend whether you get the kit or not. If you want that powder measure, I don't think you're going to do wrong for $28 with it either. I wouldn't waste your time with the Lee Chamfer and Deburring tools. Again, kid or not, I would pick up this Lime and Case Prep Multi-Tool for $29 as currently retailing. It's a great value. It works well. I've used it for thousands of cases. It comes with the extra options with the military crimp remover. Though again, if you're going to be doing a lot of that, I recommend getting an additional tool from RCBS. Again, kid or not, I would be thinking about upgrading to something like the Hornady G3 for around $50. Again, this digital scale seems to outperform most in its class, even though it is a little bit more expensive. Unless you'd rather have a better option, I think for $5, the Lee Funnel is fine. And personally, I would just get a can of the Imperial Sizing Wax for $10. And now you've covered everything you got in your anniversary kit. Now, what did we spend? Well, if you add all these items together, replacing the O-Press with a C-Frame Press, in my opinion, we've greatly increased the quality of our kit, and we've only increased the cost a little bit. The retail price of all of these items put together is $266, and even though that is a cost increase, I do think that it's worth the value. For $70, you're able to customize your own kit, and feel free to swap any of these items out as you desire, but some of these upgrades are huge upgrades over what is going to come with the kit. 
If you're just starting out and you're trying to stretch every penny as much as you can, I do think the O-Press is a decent press. But if you're building your own kit and you have a little bit more money to spend, you can upgrade to something else if you like. Maybe even something like the Frankfurt Arsenal Coax style press. But if you're willing to put in a little bit work and spend just a little bit more money, I think you're going to be way happier customizing your own kit. But if you worry about things being in stock, I can certainly see the argument for getting the Challenger kit and doing what you have to do. Like I promised at the beginning, there's going to be additional equipment you're going to need that isn't included in the kit, like reloading trays. If you're looking for something universal, these MTM trays work pretty well. But if you're really trying to go on the cheap, sometimes the cases that came from either 45 ACP or 9mm can also be used for 308 cartridges as well as 223. If you've been shooting some factory ammo and you have these laying around, or you went to the shooting range and found some, nothing to complain about. These work in a jam, and usually, they're free. Other things you're going to want, a powder trickler, certainly a reloading manual, calipers, dies, shell holders, something to clean brass like a tumbler, a stuck case remover, are all items that you're going to want to pick up to become a successful reloader. In fact, I have a whole playlist to cover all these items. I recommend going to that playlist and learning about all the things you're going to need to become a successful reloader. So click this link here to check that out. If you choose to put your own kit together, you might just be happier with it in the long run. You probably won't spend a whole lot more than you would if you'd purchased the kit. In doing this, you'll be able to have the best cheap reloading kit for you. Even though reloading isn't for everyone, I really enjoy it, and I hope to see you come back next week. And until then, stay safe in small groups.